I'm doing a project where I'm building floating shelves. Um, I'm building support brackets for the floating shelves, and out of that, I'm, I'm doing, you know, one inch uh, just pieces of, of pine two by material, and then one by one blocks. Then I'm attaching support pieces that are one by one blocks with, in one case, dominoes from the, the Festool Domino. Uh, these are the 5 16 uh, thick. And then also, I'm using a you know, trying this too, a half inch, or a, actually this is a 5 8 inch oak dowel that I'm running through the ends. That is to give lateral support to these pieces uh, over which a shell of the shelf itself slips over. So my curiosity's been piqued on how this is being attached to the wall and how strong that actually is and how strong these support pieces are as well. So I'm gonna do a little experiment in the shop here just to see if I need to modify anything before I finish my installation. So I'm gonna use three different products here. One, you know, obviously we know what the result of uh, of plastic anchors is going to be going into sheetrock. I'm just going to do it just to, to show, you know, but don't expect that this to hold very much uh, weight at all. It should be easy to just kind of tear it off the wall with the plastic anchors. Then I'm using toggle bolts, and these work great. The only problem with the toggle bolts is that once you pop these through the, the sheetrock and they pop on the back side, you have to have your support piece already uh, on the toggle bolt, and then if you ever take it off, you know, this, this part just falls off and drops behind the wall. So that, that's kind of a pain from that standpoint, uh, but these work great. And then you're down to just how strong is the sheetrock. Another product, these are called Toggler's that I found at the big hardware stores. And these, these are great products. I, I've uh, come to really like, uh, like them because it, uh, it's the same thing as the toggle bolt, except it just gives you the advantage of not having to, you know, to, to lose this, this piece. And this stays in place in the wall once it's installed behind the sheetrock. Again, the same concept as this toggle bolt uh, as well. So anyway, I'm gonna do this in the shop and, I, and attach these to the wall, to see what the strength factor is. This is the Festool Domino Cutter. It's a great tool, but unless you're doing production type projects, it's really difficult to justify the price of these tools as a hobbyist. Their biggest advantage is precision and speed when you're connecting anything. Here's a much more economical way to accomplish the same task. Using a 5 8 inch dowel is a very effective way to get as strong a connection between the pieces of the shelf support. These are the uh, regular old style toggle bolts. I, I drilled a half inch hole in the sheetrock. The toggles are assembled onto the bracket here and then you simply push them into the holes. You'll hear a snap here in a second. Okay. The other side. And the only trick is just getting everything lined up uh, and being ready to permanently install whatever you're sticking on to a wall. And now if I go ahead and just snug these up, uh, that'll make it as strong as it can possibly be. And we'll accomplish the same thing with the togglers as well. Do that down below and then compare how strong they are. Now these togglers go in the same way, same half inch hole as with the toggle bolts. So you flatten it out so that you can get the flange to slip in. Once these are flush again, then you just pull it tight. And then this is almost like a zip tie type of, uh, of an arrangement. So you'll hear it as I start to push it in. It kind of then you just push it in as far as you can get it to go in. And that uh, secures the, the little tabs in back against the back of the sheetrock. Bend these things and they snap off. You have a hole that your bolt goes in and uh, ties to the back side of the, the toggler. Pretty cool thing. The 
biggest advantage you have of using these as opposed to the old style is, is the ability just to assemble and disassemble kind of at will. And you never lose the, uh, the tabs on the back side. This, this is always secure, ready for you to screw right into it. So you can position whatever you're attaching to the wall, pull it off, reassemble, all that, and never, uh, never lose track of uh, your, your tabs on the back. The lower bracket here is the dowels and I'm going to secure the little shelf on it, which, which will also kind of help distribute the weight, whatever's on here across this piece of material. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I can see the sheetrock failing. I can see the, these extensions failing potentially, just depending on how much weight is on there. 22. 22 and a half pounds, no big deal. 30 pounds. Forty pounds. Forty pounds. I may be getting just a little bit of a sag on the front at this point. That's a lot of weight, right? Right now, honestly, or 40 pounds is a lot of weight on this thing. Let's see what 50 does. All right, just going straight 50. You can really see it flex, but it's still, it's still holding. It doesn't look like it's, you know, in danger of failing at all. Now, if, if it's loaded like this continually for a period of time, it will, but I'm not sure at this point where it, where it would fail. This 50 pound bag is going to be distributed a little bit differently than the weight was, so it's going to probably react differently too. Okay, there we go. That answers that question. Okay, so it's the sheetrock that failed. So kind of point loading 50 pounds on this guy caused the sheetrock just to give way uh, from the back. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, that these standards are ever going to break before the sheetrock will. I don't know, that's pretty impressive to me. And you can see there how it just tore through the back of the, the sheetrock itself. Well, I'm going to save myself a repair <laughs> on doing the same thing to this. It's going to have to be a lot, something a lot stronger than uh, sheetrock to, to even test the, whether or not these uh, support brackets are going to break. So I think my conclusion is this type of bracket with just made out of just pine two by fours assembled in this kind of way is going to be as strong as your sheetrock is. So you're not going to be able to put anything heavier on it than what the sheetrock can handle, which means you know, anything you want to put on it and typically in a house is going to be fine with this type of uh, construction. So I'll show you in next week's video how I built these both with the domino and with the, with the dowel. You should be able to be pretty confident that this will handle anything you want to do in the way of a floating shelf with typical household types of items placed on it. Pretty interesting. Guess I better grab the mud and tape. The way to ultimately test the strength of the dowels compared to the domino shelf supports would probably be to connect directly to the studs in the wall, which should pretty much take the sheetrock out of the equation. Then you're probably matching the strength of your screws or bolts in the studs to the strength of the domino and dowel glue joints. May have to try that sometime. Let me know what you think in the comments and what your observations are. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the rest of my channel. Would love to have you subscribe and follow what I do because there's always something going on at Dobbs Workshop.